Hey guys, um, welcome to this really um, quick intro to my video. Um, today's video is again for the Kipling Wonderland bag, but what's happening is we are heading out today for the whole day. We are going to Piping Hot Forest, which is the um, semi-finals of the European Pipe Band Championships, and that's taking place about an hour from us, and it's really good fun. So we're heading out for the day, and we are going with Obviously it's myself and my husband and my 16 year old, my 8 year old and Henry who is the nearly 4 month old. Um, he's good to go. So I just wanted to show you how this bag is packed up for today because as I pointed out in my other video it's a really big bag and I thought actually although it's not what I'm using day to day now I um, thought it would be perfect for today because it's the full day out and he is on formula fed so he is on ready-made bottles and he is also in disposable nappies so we have to take quite a lot with us so I thought well this is perfect and my crimson kaleidoscope BFF hasn't arrived yet so let's give this a whirl so I'm not going to unpack everything because I have to leave in like two minutes so I thought I would really just quickly sort of point to each pocket and show you what's in it as much as possible so here we go so in this front pocket here um, I have uh, all-in-one sleep suit and a spare pair of trousers with feet on. In this pocket here, there's nothing at the moment apart from a pack of playing cards to keep the um, 8 and 16 year old happy in between um, performances. But the keys, my keys will go on the key fob and my mobile phone and this camera and the spare battery will go in here as well. In the long zip pocket here, we have his red NHS book with his medication details in it and a couple of muslins. Uh, I'll put that back up in a minute. On this side slip velcro pocket, I have nose nozzles. He's really quite snotty. He had his jags the other day and he has a bit of snot with them. But the nose nozzles are also really handy for hand and face wipes for the older kids. So. That's quite good because they're just sailing in water. On this side of the bag, I have my GGB Crimson Kaleidoscope Pasty Pod with um, two soothers and a soother clip in. And in this slip pocket here, I have the packet of gun drop soother wipes, which is also good for toys and bottle teeths and stuff. In the back pocket, I have a GGB mesh shuttle, uh, the changing pad for that came with the Kipling bag, and the a disposable a spare disposable changing mat. Because this is an outdoors event, so and the weather is really nice here. I don't know if you can see that. That's Stanley, um, but hopefully it'll be even nice, nicer up in forest. Uh, I'm going to do all these zips back up after I'm finished filming. So in the main bit, just shoved it, you can see there's still loads of space here. So just shoved in the top here is a hoodie for him, in case we get cold. In the main central compartment, there is just my uh, GGB Be Quick Crimson Kaleidoscope, which has all the nappy changing stuff in it. So wipes, it's got five size 3 nappies, a disposable changing mat, a spare long sleeved onesie because that way if he has an explosion he can get changed straight away and then get the rest of his clothes on, spare clothes when we get back to the car or to the bag I mean, and some Burt's Bees stuff and nappy bags in the back. It also has the antibacterial hand gel attached to it. Then going around the side, got one bottle in the elasticated pocket, in the back zip pocket here, sorry, there's Aquent sanitising water, there's the med kit and there's all the sterilising stuff that I tend to take with me cleaning, cleaning the bottles. In the other pocket there's another Dr Brown's bottle. In this slip pocket here there is his um, muzzy teething ring, there's Sophie the Giraffe, there's Lynx, but there's a turtle and there's another teething ring. And then in this pocket here, there is two bottles of ready-made formula. And there will be his Infocol and Renicidine will go in there as well. And a spare bib. So there's loads packed in this bag. 
um, but in the full disclaimer there is also a thermos of hot water separate so we'll see how the bag holds up Welcome back. We are um, back from piping hot forest now and as you can see the Kipling bag has <laughs> stood up rather well. We got home um, actually about an hour ago and we, we got home earlier than we thought we were going to be and so we were actually only out for one feed but we have used one of the other bottles since we've been home um, so I'll show you that we've used that but it turns out that I really am a massive overpacker but hey you can't ever be too prepared so I'm actually going to take everything out of this now because this bag is way too big for being used day to day and I'm going to put it into my um, Tiki Toffee Be All um, I'm actually selling this bag because obviously it's not red and black and grey and white which is my preferred colour scheme at the moment um, but until the new one arrives the um, collect Crimson Kaleidoscope BFF arrives then I'm gonna have to use this one um, so I'll be selling it after that I do love this bag though and I am planning on getting a better bee or a hobo bee as well as a smaller sort of quick changing bag but we'll see I want to give the BFF a chance first anyway this isn't about that that's about this so um, I forgot to say in the first video as well that I w did also have my Kipling Yuki wallet with me um, but it was just thrown in the stroller the pram organizer or in the top of the bag as we were going so it's fine so um we still have his spare clothes so it will just be the sleep suit that goes into the be all uh, no sorry it won't it'll be the just the trousers that go into the be all so the sleep suit is gone um and that was all that was in that pocket in this pocket um i had his suntan lotion and the camera case and the cards um, the cards and the suntan lotion will go back into the bag the camera case will go over there the nose nozzle wipes will be going into there sorry about that my uh, eight year old was struggling to get in the house okay so muslin, spare muslin will go into the bag um, the other spare muslin will not. Uh, red health book will go into that new bag. Main pocket. His hoodie will not go in because that's the kind of thing that I would chuck in the pram or in the car. It wouldn't actually stay in the bag. Spare hat normally lives in the pram organiser. Um, so of course we had the cold weather hat today but not the sun hat and of course it was hot at piping hot for us <laughs> so poor thing but never mind okay I'm really sorry for all the stopping and starting it turns out it's really difficult to record when kids are around so his ranitidine medication will go into the bag this is an empty bottle so that's going to go in the bin this is a full bottle so that'll go there uh, spare bib, that'll go in there. 
all his toys will move into the Tiki Toffee. Uh, the Be Quick with the nappies in. We've only used, we only used one nappy out of this, which my husband actually said that this is really, really good being able to carry this. So we just used one nappy whilst we were out. So there are four left in here. Okay. The dirty bottles will obviously go to be washed, but I will put a clean bottle in the Tiki Toffee bag. Uh, medicine bag, aquant sanitizing water, all the cleaning stuff, that all goes into there. Uh, tea the ring doesn't because it tends to go in his car seat, so I think that's everything from in there. Uh, what was in the back? Oh, the mesh shuttle will go back into that bag, and the changing disposable changing mat and the real mat will stay there because we have one in the quick. So I will come back when it's completely packed up. Okay, and we're back. So the Tiki Toffee is now completely packed back up for my day-to-day -day bag. Um, so we're back to having his red book and the playing cards are in here, which are not essential by the way. Um, I could take them out, but frankly, I don't feel they take up that much room in this particular bag. Side pocket over here. I have one bottle in a bottle insulating pouch in the external bottle pocket there. And on this side, I have my soother holder with one in it. Packed back into the front of this is the mesh shuttle and one pair of trousers. My wallet's sitting on the top. And then in here we have the toys are in this pocket and this pocket. We've got Sophie the giraffe here. Then the one muslin and spare bib are here. The bottle of ready-made formula and his ranitidine medication are here. His sun cream, medicine bag and nose nozzle wipes are there. Uh, the aqua sanitizing water, the pass, sorry, soother wipes and all the sterilizing equipment is here in that pocket. And then in the middle, I just have the quick with what was on it and my anti back hand gel is there. Um, I will, when I get my BFF, or when I get my red, white and grey bag, I am going to move him back to the outside because it's easier, I think. But, well, I'll see, because I do think it's quite good to have it on the nappy changing bag. But anyway, um, so that's everything packed back up ready. And what we didn't fit in is all over here. Um, so you can see it's the used bottle, empty bottle, hat, muslin, just these things which really are not essential for day to day. In fact, there's quite a lot in this bag that isn't essential for day to day, but it's still in there. So that's it. That's been our Saturday out at Piping Hot Forest and our use of the Kipling Wonderland baby bag for the day out and it was very good for the day out we actually stuffed loads in it and now back to the tiki toffee um be all gggb be all for the next few days until fingers crossed my crimson clouds got bff is due to be delivered on thursday whether it will or not don't know um we'll have to wait and see it's in the hands of fedex so yeah hopefully we'll uh hope you enjoyed the video and um, we'll see you guys later bye <laughs>